and welcome back to another episode of Canyon Side Chats. We are the weekly update on all things that are happening at the Senate Democratic Caucus. So today, uh, of course, as always, I'm your host, Victoria Steele. Um, I'm a legislator from District 9 in Tucson, and I am joined today by Lisa Otondo. Senator Otondo represents Good grief, it's a large district. It's <laughs> Goodyear, Buckeye, Gila Bend, parts of Tucson, and of course, Yuma. Welcome, Senator Otondo. To Hunt Adam and Kukupa. Oh, yeah, it's goodness. Huge. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is a big, big district, and you do a lot of driving, and that's a what we're going to be driving. talking about today. So hold yeah. this up so it gives everybody a, an idea of what that's we're it. talking about. Right there? Okay. So ban today we are, we are talking <laughs> about the texting ban. It's a ban on texting while driving that has finally become law after all these years. How long have we been trying to save Arizona lives through a ban on driving while texting? Or texting while driving? It was initially introduced into Arizona 14 years ago. Oh. We were one of the first states to try to introduce mm -hmm. legislation. However, completely unsuccessful on getting legislation through. And, uh, you know, I can't talk about texting without tipping my hat to the former senator from Tucson, Senator Steve Farley. Yeah. For 12 years, he pushed this bill to get a ban on texting. Mm -hmm. Really, he couldn't even get a hearing for many years. I know. And then if it did even make it to the floor, it would die. That's right. So, you know, as long as I've been on transportation um, the last several years, you know, to no avail. We had, weren't even able to get it out of committee. So it's a beautiful day. Today the governor signed the bill and lives will be saved. We just got out of that signing ceremony. And, and you're right, Senator Farley has worked on this for about 14 years. I put it in twice. I introduced legislation on this. We were not the only ones. There were a lot, mostly Democrats. But why did it take so long? You know, I introduced legislation too yeah. that we tried to do legislation that was not as strict, that was, we even tried to mirror the Texas legislation that just went through mm -hmm. a couple years ago to get anything through. You know, Think about the lives that would have been saved. And I get, I get chills because um, things happened differently this year. The legislation was introduced uh, by a Republican and it actually got ground. As you know, wow. uh, many Democrat, most Democrat bills die. Most, most Democrat uh, bills don't even get a hearing, yes. not even assigned to committee. That's right. So, um, you know, I, I really want to say, too, that Steve Farley championed this. Many yeah. of us he have really worked did. hard for mm -hmm. this. Um, thankfully, you know, the, the Republican bill did move forward and votes were moved there. But the real hero in all of this, and I, I say this after years of sitting in transportation, watching the families who have come year after year, and I'm sorry, I'm just getting goosebumps, and I'm a little choked up because year after year, they've come to the Transportation Committee if it made it that far, or only done a presentation on a mm -hmm. bill, and they've held up the photographs of their loved ones who have died or been paralyzed or severely injured. Uh, yeah. injured. So really, the families, the families who have showed incredible courage and determination are real heroes in this because they moved this legislation. They did, they did. It's been, their testimony all along the way has been very moving. It's been powerful, powerful, emotionally powerful testimony. It's and been had hard to, to sit through it, I've got to tell you. You're right, and they, they've had to relive their nightmares every year and yeah. so to the families to Brendan Lyons who yes. has been uh, awesome. a, a, instrumental in moving a lot of the municipal um, uh, laws and Brendan and Lyons has been hurt 
um, more than once. Right. And, and, and I think when he was biking. Yeah. When he was yeah. cycling. He carries his bike out here. He's, yeah. you know, EMT. And he yeah. has, you know, just been, He's been another, great. another, you know, hero for this. So mm -hmm. to all those involved, it's, uh, it's time. It was overdue. Yes. Um, too many lives had been lost, and now there are only two states. You know, initially I said I we were one of the initial states to introduce. And one of but, the last states to pass it. And one of the it. last states to pass it. But so. this is a good day in Arizona. It is. We did pass it, and we, we all feel it. really good about that. And I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. But very Rick? quickly, okay. I, I just want to remind everybody that no texting while driving is going to be in effect starting tomorrow. The governor has signed the bill, so do not, do not text and drive. Do not let your family members text and drive. That's right. Phones down, eyes up. That's Phones all the time we up. have today for the Canyon Side Chats. Join us next week for another version, and we'll see you then. Take care. Thank you.